Hello, hello, everybody. How are you doing today? And welcome to the Tina Ramsey Show, formerly known as Heal the Honey Pot. And for those of you who are following me on social media, you know why this name change had to happen. But let me do some things as always and make sure that we get our house clean, you know what I'm saying, so that everyone can see us all over the internet and everywhere. But today I'm super duper excited because we have a new guest we have a guest he's amazing he's the ceo of an amazing business that's actually educating our children and so who is he what is he about we're gonna find all that out in our very first episode of season two of the tina ramsey show i'm so happy that you're here stay tuned And we are back and I want to welcome all of you to the Tina Ramsey show. For those of you who do not know who I am, I am Coach Tina Ramsey, your mindset development coach, helping you to get it right, starting all in the mind. And we're going to bring on our amazing guest. You know, I changed this show in order to grow and pivot because we have a lot of amazing men within our community and all around the world that I am so blessed to have in my circle. And I said, you know what? I am doing you a disservice by not sharing them with you. And so to kick off this season two of the Ramsey Show, formerly known as Heal the Honey Pot TV, we're going to have our very first, we're going to bring on a strong man. Yes, a strong man. And his name is Mr. Jamal Brown. He is the CEO of Black365.com. Hello, Jamal. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. I'm both happy and humbled and honored to be uh, the first brother. So I know I got to set it off right. Yeah, you do. You do. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're going to be just fine. I'm just happy to have you. And the reason why I want you to come on the show and for you to be number one is because the time that we're living in now is so important for us to be able to see ourselves and up in a positive way. And what I saw what you was doing, I was like, I have to have him on my show. So they at least know that you are out there and you have these amazing um things for our children and we're going to go a little bit more into those things and if i said why are you talking in all these codes <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness but we are um i'm just want him to share of himself with you but before we get started i want to give a shout out to our gold sponsor which is she trucking the place where you can learn that is a black owned company that is by she trucking her name is Miss ray moore and she is helping women truck all over and it's for all ethnicities and she helping you to know what to do in the trucking industry and how to do it she actually has classes going on right now so go ahead and if you want to drive a truck girls what well, you need to get with her all right with all that being said come on jamal what was it or why did you decide to start your business Fantastic question. Uh, it's a bit of a long story, but I'll do my best to keep it uh, concise here. Uh, growing up, uh, so I'm here on the West Coast, right? Right outside of LA, uh, where I was born and raised. Uh, growing up, uh, I grew up in a city called Palmdale. It's north of LA. Um, I grew up in a mobile home park. Uh, growing up in that mobile home park, saw folks who looked like me who weren't into the positive things in life, right? I saw athletes, drug dealers, gang members and entertainers. If I, if I had to sum up the totality of the folks that were around me uh, at that time, and also taking a look inside of my family, again, some of those same things, athletes, drug dealers, gang members, entertainers. Uh, one time, uh, it was fourth grade, the teacher gave us an assignment, said, go home, to, uh, come back with five career options that you would like to choose. Uh, other students talked about being astronauts and agents. One kid even said, one one kid said he wanted to be a podiatrist. It took me about uh, 15 years to figure out what a podiatrist was. Uh, that's a foot doctor for those who out there who might not know, right? And uh, when I got, 
I started looking at my list, like, huh, mine's a little bit different than all that. You know, none of those things were on my list. Uh, when it was my turn to stand up from the class, I spoke loudly and proudly and said that I'm either going to be an athlete, a drug dealer, a gang member, or entertainer. Again, that's all that I saw. That's all that I knew that was all that was around me. If I could quickly go into uh, why I didn't choose a couple of those things, uh, decided not to be uh, a drug dealer. So, uh, Actually, my mother helped me uh, with that choice not to become a drug dealer. I was so convinced that I was going to be a drug dealer that I actually decided to tell my mother of my career aspirations. There was a drug dealer on my street. Uh, uh, he had this the nice car, the booming sound system, and the ladies, and uh, he used to give me candy. So I thought, certainly, being a drug dealer is not that bad of a gig. Uh, one Sunday morning, I told my mother, you know, I found out what I want to do. Matching my energy, she said, what? Baby, tell me. I said, I'm going to sell drugs. And I sort of dipped back, right? Uh, she was washing dishes at the, uh, you know, and I was sitting at the bar stool. I just knew that hand was going to come out of the water and knock me in the roof. It never came. She just kept her head down, kept washing dishes. Washing dishes Washing about a minute. And that minute felt like a year. Uh, then she started humming. That's when I got real scared. She was humming some old Negro spiritual, something I don't know what she was humming. And then uh, she says, baby, I don't think that's going to work out too well for you. I said, why not? She says, well, after I beat you, I'm going to call the cops on you and you're going to go to jail. So uh, grand opening, grand closing. My whole drug career lasted about four minutes. Uh, didn't sell a, an ounce, a brick, a bird. A I didn't sell nothing, right? Uh, mm -hmm. So from that point forward, uh, going into high school, I dedicated every waking moment to the game of basketball. I played basketball night and day, day and night. Uh, all was going well. I was captain of the team. Then one day I wasn't feeling that that well. Uh, that same loving mother took her to the doctor. My whole physical test, ears, nose, eyes, everything had to tell. At the end, the doctor said, Mr. Brown, you have apical hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. I said, could you say that in English, please? He <laughs> said, you have <laughs> yeah. hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. So the tip of your heart is about two times thicker than it should be. I said, oh, maybe that's why I'm so good. He said, you know, Mr. Brown, there's no, no laughing matter. I said, well, I have a game against our rival next week. He said, no, you have a heart surgery next week. So as a 14-year-old uh, freshman uh, in high school, I went from a basketball court to an operating table. I uh, woke up, my room full of doctors, family, and uh, the doctor spoke calmly and was a bit melancholy when he said, you know, uh, surgery didn't quite go as expected. Uh, there's no additional surgery. There's no medication. Nothing we can do to fix your heart. And I'll never sign the waiver for you to play basketball again. Uh, I was depressed. I was dejected. Eventually, I realized I wasn't dead. Eventually, I started picking up books. I knew something was wrong with my heart, but there was nothing wrong with my mind. I started picking up books, and those books I picked up, Autobiography of Malcolm X, picked up books about uh, uh, Nat Turner, picked up books about uh, Egypt and the Nile and the pyramids. And I, I discovered for the first time that people who look like me are more than just athletes, drug dealers, gang members, entertainers, but the world's first doctors, lawyers, uh, architects, engineers, mathematicians, all these wonderful things. What we call black history truly is the missing pages of world history. The world wouldn't be what it is if it wasn't for the contributions of people who look like me. S sparked by that, I went on to become my high school's first ever African-American valedictorian. Uh, I was accepted to eight universities, got about $50,000 in scholarships. And mm -hmm. uh, from there, uh, once I graduated, sorry for telling this long story. You know, you asked me a simple question, but uh, I'm taking it <laughs> this far. Go ahead, I, I want to get it in. Okay. Um, I wanted to ensure that no other young person thought that all they can do is be an athlete, drug dealer, gang member, or entertainer. So I created a calendar that highlights an event in black history every single day, 365 days of black facts so that no person, but particularly no young person, no person who looks like me can think that we have such limited uh, potential. Oh, love it. Love it. And I love how you took us through the windows of your life, because in order for individuals to understand who you are, not only as a person, but as a business owner, they need to know your story. That's why I'm glad that you share the story so they can connect with you, because it makes us even want to support you even more. But we have a comment coming in from Miss Gladys Zimmerman. She said, hello, beautiful people. Hello, Queen. How you doing? Remember to like, share, follow. All right, and we are going to go right back, um, and we are going to ask you this question. Did you always have the entrepreneurship mindset? Because, you know, that's not something that we usually born with. <laughs> absolutely not. Absolutely not. I come from two hardworking blue collar folks. Uh, my father's worked in the aerospace uh, industry for years and years and years. Again, he used to 
be up before the sun came up and back home before after the sun came down. He commuted uh, to where he had to work. Uh, again, wear blue jeans and hard boots. And again, just did some uh, manual labor, uh, building uh, airplane and uh, space shuttle parts. My mother's owned her own business. She's been in daycare for 30 plus years, 35 uh, years, if I'm not mistaken. And so I've seen, again, the hard work and I've seen the entrepreneurial thing uh, uh, as well. I had no clue what I wanted to do. Um, again, got accepted to a whole bunch of schools, decided to go to a California State University at Long Beach School. Mm -hmm. I earned my degree in business management with an emphasis in information systems with a specialty in electronic commerce. What that means is I was Ooh, to sell a a lot. <laughs> more than a mouthful, right? More than a mouthful. I was talking computer stuff and how to sell on the internet. But although I, I, I learned that, got a degree in that, I've worked in that field, uh, absolutely had no passion for it, right? Again, truly my passion is inspiring, uplifting, encouraging our people. And so uh, I found a way, uh, thank goodness, to uh, to again, be an entrepreneur and work in my passion of, again, inspiring our folks through, uh, through history. Oh, man, I love it. Love the story. For those of you who do not know who this amazing young man is, this is Mr. Jamal Brown. He is the CEO of Black... 365.com. All right. So right now we are going to take us a very small commercial break and we will be back in a moment. Are you a small business owner or entrepreneur and you are frustrated? You are tired? <laughs> You are trying to figure out and guess how you can use Facebook to grow your business. Well, my name is Tina Ramsey, and I was just like you, trying to do it all, trying to figure it out on how I can use Facebook to grow my business. And I'm happy to say that I have finally figured it out. I have the Facebook blueprint on how you can successfully grow your business using Facebook if you put in the work. How do I know? It's because 98% of all my customers come right here from Facebook. So how was I able to do this? How was I able to leverage Facebook in the right way in order to propel my business, in order to attract more customers to my business and grow at the exact same time using the Facebook platform? Well, all of that is going to be discussed right in my Facebook bootcamp. It's going to be unlike any other boot camp or course or class you have ever taken because I am going to take you on a behind the scenes background on how you supposed to use the nuts, the bolts and maneuver and do things on Facebook in order to get your business seen by potential new customers. So if you are ready to level up, you're ready to pivot. You're ready to get this thing done and you're ready to be able to have a blueprint laid out for you so you don't have to, you can stop this guessing work. Well, then you need to go ahead and click the link above this video and go ahead and get into my boot camp, Facebook boot camp course today because it's amazing. You are going to absolutely love it and you will never look at Facebook again the same. So looking forward to seeing you there. I will talk to you guys later and see you in class. See you at the boot camp. Bye. All right. And we are back. For those of you who have been asking me about the boot camp, yes, it's still going on. It's not live now, but you will still be able to get, uh, I'm still there answering questions and giving you updates. Mm -hmm. And you'll have that lifetime access. For those of you who do not know who this amazing gentleman is right on the other side, side of the screen over here, over here, over here. This is Mr. Jamal Brown, who is the CEO of Black365.com, a positive uplifting platform in which he is teaching us our history. And not just saying it's just for us as people of color, anybody can benefit from learning about our history in a positive uplifting way, seeing ourselves, seeing our image in a way that uplifts and upbuilds and also inspire you to greatness. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it 100. All right. So with all that being said, Mrs. Jamal, I am so happy that we are back and I have, and I know you have an answer to this right here because you, yeah. What advice <laughs> would you give 
the ones that's just starting out. So they might not know exactly what they want to do, but they kind of like, what do I, what should I do? Do you have anything that you could share with them? Absolutely. Uh, the advice I was given and the advice I took was discover your passion, right? I, I truly believe in my heart of hearts that the creator of all things put us here on this planet, each and every one of us, and puts inside of us a gift, something that we excel at, something that's unique to us, something that was given to us to show the world, to make the world a more beautiful and brighter place. I truly, truly believe that. I believe the quicker that we discover that and the quicker we present that gift to the world, again, the quicker the world will become even more brighter uh, of a place. And one way to uncover, unpack that gift I, I, I advise people to truly sit down and ask yourself, what would I do if mm -hmm. I had 24 hours to do it? I can do it all day, every day, and no one would give me a dime to do it. Just something that, 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 that thing that keeps you up late at night, the thing that wakes you up early in the morning. What is that thing that calls out to you when your mind is still? That thing when the TV's going or you, maybe you're in a group of friends, but you you know, that, that's something that is calling out to you. What is that thing? What is that thought? What is that, that, that idea? And pursue it. Pursue it unabashedly. Pursue it unashamedly. Pursue it like a crazy person who pursues something, right? And uh, <laughs> despite, you know, the naysayers, despite the folks that say, why, you know, what is it about that? Uh, you know, why are you into that? You know, just, just keep on going. And then understand that, the, the, that life is a marathon. It's not a sprint. And as Nipsey Hussle said, the marathon continues. So again, there's going to be bumps, there's going to be bruises, there's going to be roadblocks, there's going to be setbacks, but uh, constantly, constantly pursue that thing. When I was putting together the first Black 365 calendar, I'm going to have people say, you know, who's going to be interested in that? Again, who wants to hear about Black history every single day? You know, don't you know how much research that's going to take? Don't you know how hard that's going to be? Who's going to buy it? Who's your audience? Who told you to do it? Who are you connected with? You know, all these mm -hmm. questions, all these objections, all these, again, negative uh, thoughts uh, bombarded me from all sorts of angles. But uh, thank God, thank my ancestors that I, I, I saw I saw my way through it. And again, I'm happy to say, I don't think I said this yet, happy to say that we're on year number 12. We've been uh, producing this calendar every single year now for 12 whole years. And we've added uh, additional oh, products to the catalog as well. Wow, congratulations on 12 years, because that is uh, something that's amazing in itself, because so many businesses, especially during this time that we're living in now, have, um, are not, they don't exist anymore. They had to close. So to know the fact that you was able to weather the storm, as we would say, through the ups and downs, and that you're sharing of this story with us, I wanted individuals to see the face behind black365.com. It's not good enough for us just to know. I want them to know the heart, the soul, the heartbeat of why you do what you do. So thank you so much for being so transparent, sharing your story. And also someone is going to watch this video that has been sitting on the idea since the beginning of time that idea keep waking them up at night and saying, you need to do this, but they're afraid. This is your season. This is your moment to take that leap of faith and go 100% in on you. That's right. I want you to go 100% in on you. This is showing you that it can be done. Not saying it's going to be easy because I'm a business owner as well. You're going to have your ups and down moments. You're going to have those euphoric moments where you're going to be like, oh, this is simply amazing. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to be like, oh, can I go on? Can I go on? But listen, that's a part of it. And think about what you have to offer and how it's going to change the world. Do what is what you have to offer? Is it something that's going to be impactful? Is it not just something that you're selling? Like he is impacting us with the knowledge of us knowing our history and having some roots. We need that. But what is it that you do or you can do that will impact the world or impact a certain amount of people that can inspire them or solve a problem for them. That's what you need to be thinking about. And like you said, Mr. Jamal said, you need to be able to do this and be determined to do this, whether you get a penny or not. Because truth be told, your first couple of years, you're going to be broke. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me build on that thought if I could real fast. Certainly, Go ahead. Certainly the first few years, you know, uh, uh, um, 
definitely to produce the next year's calendar, right? You know, the first few years, they had to beg, borrow, do everything short of stealing the funds, right? To uh, yeah. produce those additional uh, years. There were just certainly years I thought about taking off. You know, maybe mm -hmm. maybe I'll just take off this year. Maybe I'll just skip this one, save up, do a little bit of extra research, come back strong next year. But thankfully, I had uh, I had built up a customer base. I, I built up, you know, folks who were really rocking with what I was doing and said, nah, brother, you can't stop. But you can't quit. Whatever we got to do to drag you across the finish line to, to, to produce that next year's calendar, you got to do it, brother. Uh, again, you, you're too valuable. What you're presenting is too valuable. And uh, the kids need you. We need you. So, nah, you can't stop. So, again, I'm thankful for that, for my tribe who uh, who pulled me through uh, those, those first few lean years, for sure. Yes, we have to have it. So, make sure you get you a good, supportive, uplifting circle around you that on those moments when you feel like giving up, they remind you why you started because we all know why we started. But sometime when the, the wealth, when the stuff come and it's get difficult, we like, uh, I don't know if I can keep going, right. but then your circle, your customer base, your audience, the people who have been supporting you from the ground up, they'll be the ones that say, uh, uh no, no, sir. No, ma'am. Uh -uh. We need you. So what do you need me to do so we can keep this going? And so make sure you have a positive circle. We have a question or I should say a comment said, I appreciate and admire your dedication, even if I can't tune in every time. Thank you, love. You can always watch the replay. That is why I make sure that I make it accessible to all of you because I realize that most of you will watch on the re replay um, because we have people watching all over the world. We are officially international. Woo! I'm happy about this. So Africa is sleeping now. <laughs> so they will be watching this on the replay and all over in South America as well. And some places I can't even say their language. Thank God for Google Translate. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but um, we are going to talk about this. I want you, with all this we've been talking about, you telling us your history, you telling us your background. They probably said, well, Tina, what's up? What do he do? I know it's 365, but I mean, what is it? So so show us, tell us, enlighten us, um, Mr. Jamal, what that is. All right. So again, our seminal product is the Black 365 calendar. Right now I'm in front of a green screen and the front cover is red, black, and green because of the Pan-African flag. So it's going to be washed out, but uh, we'll, 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 we'll take a look inside. So again, you have a, a wall calendar, right? With uh, some amazing artwork and a, a biography of an individual, uh, some living, some who have transitioned. Again, some beautiful, beautiful artwork there. And literally 365 days of black facts. You'll find a fact that happened on that day in history each and every single day of the year. You can find your birthday, your, your child's birthday, your anniversary. Again, and find out what, aside from you, happened on that day in world history. You'll find an individual, an instance, an idea, something, uh, an invention, again, something created by somebody who looks like you each and every single day of the year. Again, we've got James Baldwin there, biography, photo, and again, facts every single day that happened on that day in history. Again, we've got Miss Ida B. Wells here, Mr. Stevie Wonder here, who just turned 70, Dr. Francis Cress Welsing, psychiatrist, we have Miles Davis. We have, if I could just take a quick moment and discuss this one a little bit more in depth, uh, Dr. Hadia Nicole Green. And so she is a living legend. What I like to do, I like to bring history, I like to let people know that we have history makers amongst us, right? You are black history. You are someone that possibly will go down in the in, in the annals of history and be you know remembered for time for your contributions, right? And mm -hmm. this is right here, a young 30-something sister. She has discovered and developed a revolutionary cancer fighting technology. Wow. Not only, she doesn't treat with chemo, she doesn't treat with radiation. She, well, she injects nanoparticles into tumors, blasts them with lasers, and explodes tumors with little to no side effects. She's looking to uh, take her, take her, um, 
particular technology to human trials, the phase three uh, um, human trials. It takes about $10 million to go to the next phase. So we are actually helping her raise funds um, through the selling of this calendar. 10% of this calendar, 2021 edition, will go towards advancing her research. And again, we're happy and excited to uh, to collaborate with her. Uh, the name of her foundation is the Aura Lee Foundation. And again, 10% of the funds from this calendar will go to her and her uh, work. Uh, again, little known folks in black history, well known folks in black history, uh, the first black woman to uh, practice dentistry in California and uh, Jean-Michel Basquiat, uh, artist right there, his artwork. Uh, sold for the most money, $110.5 million, uh, the most of any, any uh, again, American artist. So again, you see a, a, a wide array of people from uh, science, technology, engineering, arts, uh, math, and uh, all over the uh, the map. If I can quickly show these, again, we've got some black history cards. Again, we've got some tech stuff going on there with the green screen, but uh, black history cards, edition one. Uh, this pack has 52 cards and 52 quotations from some of the greatest minds in our history. Uh, we got a red pack of black history cards here, uh, African-Americans A to Z. Literally, you'll find out someone from A to Z and their amazing contributions. Uh, our black pack, our pack number three, uh, black history athletes. So again, you'll find out uh, athletes who have made tremendous contributions, both on the field and off the field. Folks like, again, Kobe Bryant there. You got Michael Jordan there. Uh, Serena, Venus, so forth and so on. Again, both males and females, brothers and sisters who have made tremendous contributions. And our most recent pack, our green packing, it's not going to come up too well because I'm in front of a green screen, but uh, African Americans in STEAM, science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. Again, living legends and legends who have passed on who have impacted the globe. What we call black history Truly, truly, truly the missing pages of world history. The planet as we know it would not be well, what we know again, without the inventions and contributions of black people and our products, again, bring that fact to life each and every day for both young and old. I 100% agree with you. For those of you who are curious about where can you get this because you know you need it and I need to get me some too, okay? All right, so it's at black365.com. You will see his array of different products that he has. Um, if you don't know where to start, why not start with the calendar and build yourself up? Because as you heard, as you buy the calendar, you will be supporting that amazing sister, Dr. Green, and her going through her third trial in order to help eradicate that pesky cancer. Mm -hmm. That is plaguing not just the world, but especially our community. So why not do something that's not only going to help you, but it's going to help someone else and in essence can possibly change the world. And you can say, I was a part of that. That's right. That's right. All right I was a part of that. <laughs> Listen, he even did something even better. If you use the code HS oils, that's HS oils, you will get 10% off. I mean, come on. You can help change the world, possibly, and you can get a 10% discount, and then they're going to still help 10% to help her, Dr. Green, kill off this cancer that is plaguing our world, and especially our community. So a win-win situation. We have a comment coming in. Oh, Miss Gladys Zimmerman. Thank you, love. She said black360.com. Love it. <laughs> that is one of your supporters right there. The things are zero to a five, though. Black 365. I, I like where she was going, though. Black 360, like all the way black, but we black 365, like 365 yeah. days of the year. Let right? me pop it up. Right. 365, black365.com. Com. All right. I want you to follow him on Facebook. So because they also share enlightening information right here on Facebook and also on Instagram. Now we are getting ready to take a small commercial break. I'm getting ready to share with you some information of some amazing other black business owners that are doing some doing their thing. And I want you to see what they're doing right here. We have the amazing Earlene Franklin, you know, we need the knowledge about our health and wellness, but um, about our history, but we also need to take care of our health. More than likely, especially within our community, we don't pay attention to our health until it starts doing things that we don't like, right? So I want us to change that projector of our mindset and start looking at prevention as the cure and not always looking for a pill 
to help cure, which it doesn't. So health is your true wealth. She has an amazing way that you can get your vitamins and minerals inside your body. For those of you who don't like swallowing pills like me, uh-huh, where you can drink your way to health. Next, we have this amazing nonprofit organization that's called I Am Radiant. Right now, they're, they're doing a towel drive in which you can donate funds or donate towels to uh, Trish, which is the CEO of this organization. You can contact her by calling her at 917-406-6679. This is to help those in need. Listen, we cannot get anywhere without us learning to hold someone's hand and lock arms with someone because you never know when you might be in the same situation and you would definitely want someone to help you. Next, I want to tell you about this amazing event that's going to be happening at the end of November. November the 20th, 20th through the 22nd is called Homeschooling with Excellence. Listen, if you want to know how to homeschool and work, you want to know how to homeschool on a budget, you want to hear from a homeschooling dad, this is our lineup that we have right now. We have two more spots available. We was going to do about 12 people, but I decided to do a smaller group because I want you to really pull in and learn what they have to say. So you can contact me. I'm Coach Tina Rams if you want to know details on how you can be a speaker at this events and we are back and we have some more comments she said she says sorry three flat three sixty five you okay you okay love we appreciate your participation wait am I going right this way <laughs> this is Mrs. Jamal Brown um, the CEO of Black365.com he specializes in our history black history that's part of world history and he shared with us his story and if you don't know anything about what his story is and then guess what you need to watch the replay because it was very enlightening on how he became an entrepreneur and why he started this business and why we are benefiting from because he's solving the problem we need to know our history point blank yeah. in order for us to know where we're going we have to know where we came from and in order for us to do that we don't have all this time on our hands. We can go dig like he did to find all this stuff. So thank you for doing the work. The only thing we have to do is buy it. <laughs> right. Right. All right. So anything else that you would like to say, I want to just thank you for actually coming on this show and I actually working with me on this because I wanted them to hear you, see you, and you present your business in your words, not mine. So thank you for coming on. You are welcome. Again, uh, for over the past 12 years, we've received some amazing testimonials from parents, from schools, from homeschoolers in particular, uh, who say, you know, their, their, their children have been sparks, you know, discovering so many different career options. You know, uh, my child thought they wanted to be a football player. Now they, you know, uh, learn that there's so many more things out there. There's astronauts, there's architects, there's engineers, there's all these fantastic career choices and things that they can uh, aspire to. And, you know, it's beautiful imagery. You know, they some schools start off their school each and every day with the black fact of the day. It will be the question of the day or, you know, uh, conversation topic or do a quick, uh, quick write about, you know, the, uh, the, the fact of the day, there's so many ways that the uh, calendars and the products can be implemented to every single day seamlessly. And uh, again, I just want to thank you for having me uh, again, I'm humbled and honored to be here and thank you in advance to all the fantastic listeners who uh, go to black 365com and use that promo code HS oils, get the 10% off, help the channel, all that good stuff. It's again, it's a win, win, win for everybody. Collaboration is key. And I appreciate you learn something about us every single day, black365.com. I love that, man. We need to coin that 365.com. <laughs> All right. She said, thank you so um, she said, thank you so much. I will be checking you out. So we know Miss Glass is going on. And I also know that right now you are actually being seen by over 10,000 homeschoolers that you did not even know. Okay. So, <laughs> and that's not including the rest of the individuals from all the other different places that we are live streaming. I wanted them to hear you. I wanted them to see you. And I wanted them to be able to hear the person behind what you are doing. I already knew from what I read and what I have done, how amazing you are. However, I wanted my goal for 2021 
um, starting now and onward is to show a dynamic of strong women and strong men who are making a contribution in a positive way um, in the world, making their impact their way, but it's positive and uplifting. And that is why we decided to change the name of the show from Heal the Honey Pot TV, which was just women, to the Tina Ramsey show, which encompassed everyone. And we're still having the Heal the Honey Pot segment throughout the month. So ladies, don't worry. I'm going to help you take care of them honey pots still. Don't worry. So we're going to have our little separate stuff. But um, thank you for kickstart kickstarting season two of the Ramsey Show, Mr. Jamal Brown, the CEO of Blacker365.com. Thank you so much for coming on. You, I'm just so happy that you came on today. She said, thank you so much. All right. With all that being said, we are getting ready to go. Make sure to tune in on our seven platforms on the radio because now we have heard your cries we have heard you in the inboxes and the emails about the podcast well we made it happen and not only are we on there we on seven places streaming so you can download the apps and you can just listen to us as you're going throughout your day and if you just want to watch the video honey scream it on your tv you know, and make sure to go to black365.com. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you later. Everyone have a great, amazing rest of your day. Bye. Bye.